What's up, Sticks TV fam? We got a known money getting savage by the name of SSBJ coming straight out of Greer, South Carolina, the notorious Sunnyside Drive, to be exact. Okay, now, Greer, South Carolina is one of the fastest growing cities in the Greenville County. Back in the 1700s, Greer was inhabited by the Cherokee Indians. Greer was actually called the Old Blakely Place, a 200 acre farm owned by James Manning Greer. The Blakely Farmhouse was the first known house in the history of Greer. When they began to build the railroad through Greer City, James Greer began selling land because he realized they had the potential for a town around the train station. By the 1950s, the Greenville and Spartanburg Airport, I-85, and BMW had brought more jobs and more people to the area. Okay, now, SSBJ is from Sunnyside Drive, one of the most dangerous sections in Greer. Sunnyside is better known as The Bottom, and Jay's notorious family by the name of The Miller Family had a cold gangster reputation of getting money or either stepping. It was so wicked that Jay's grandma even had a body. As time flew by, Jay would begin to make a name for himself. By the young ages of 14, Jay would jump off the porch getting into street brawls with other crews and neighborhoods throughout Greer. Jay and his crew never lost because it was never a one-on-one. -on -one. Eventually, things would turn up more when the police started harassing Jay's crew for kicking up dust in the city but it was never anything you could prove. Then one day, Jay's mother would find a few pump shells in his room because he was hiding a scrap for his homie. His mom wanted him to tell, but he kept it solid. Then one night, he would be sharing a room with his uncle when he found a fully loaded chopper, and his uncle told him not to tell. But Jay just looked at his uncle and showed him the scrap that he had as well. But what actually made Jay wanted to become a rapper is during his younger years when his parents used to let him hang out with his older cousins and uncles at the front of the apartments. They would kick some cool freestyles to hide the fact that they were actually trapping and freestyling made time pass. Jay actually thought it was cool. So by the time he jumped off the porch, he would record his first official track. Fast forward, Jay and his crew started toting glizzies heavily. What once was innocent street brawls became broad day rockouts. One day, Jay would see a guy get hit up multiple times. And ever since then, Jay knew it was no more throwing hands in the hood. Straight glizzy play. Before you knew it, all the local hot girls and women had eyes on Jay. And Jay was loving it. The more women got attracted to Jay, the more he would chase that paper and apply pressure in the streets so that they could be even more attractive. But Jay wasn't thugging only for the woman. He would move like a straight boss. He would learn how to play chess in the streets. And he would learn to lose certain battles just to win the entire war. Before you knew it, according to public information, Jay's uncle and another guy would get into a rock out. Jay's uncle would be the guy to get hit up more than four times. When 12 pulled up, more than 200 people were outside brawling. The guy who stepped on his uncle was never charged because it was justified. Jay's uncle was actually a very big inspiration in his life. Way before MySpace was popping, Jay's uncle would leave a legacy of rapping and being a hood legend. He would make beats with his hands and spit out cool lyrics that would touch your soul. Jay would eventually be the one to carry out his uncle's and family's legacy by rapping and having the streets up the bottom on lock. Now lately, SSBJ has been dropping some of the best visuals out of Greer, South Carolina. When he dropped that visual called Racked Up, it went viral with more than 7k views, but being that the black population of Greer is only 5,000, he scored above the rim. He would drop this visual called Smoke, and that got 10k views. And at that point, the whole Greenville County is in tune. After dropping the visuals pressure and make them float, which got 4k and 6k views, SSBJ knows he is next up out of Greer, South Carolina.